I honestly can't believe this is our engine. How did we get it from this to it looking as good as it does now? Well, you're just going to have to watch the rest of this video. Welcome to Renault 5 Rebuild. Hi everybody, how are you doing on a road trip today? Which is quite good outside the actual garage, which is awesome in someone else's garage. So I'm here today at MJO's to pick up the, um, the block and the head. Um, both of them being chemical dipped, which is cool. And uh, also the head's gonna be skimmed. So let's head in. The chemical dipping process involved fully submersing the engine parts for the evening in a decarbonating chemical substance that removed all the traces of muck and impurities from the immediate surface of the block and the head, followed by a good wash and putting in the oven for good measure. Once treated, the engine parts were left gleaming. And I cannot believe this is my block. Look at that, look how clean it is. It's brilliant. After a good old clean, we turned our attention to the cylinder head. Cylinder head skimming, also known as resurfacing, is a process that creates a flat surface in the cylinder head, basically to help prevent future failure and also to ensure that there's a good seal. Aaron at MJ, who actually did the work, was quite surprised at how flat the head was in the first place, being it came from a 1988 Renault 5. However, he did say, if you're ever rebuilding an engine and the head's off, you really gotta get it re-skimmed. After the machine work was complete, it was ready to go back in the oven. Toasty! This was to make sure there wasn't any little bits of metal left in the head. Plus, it looks pretty cool for YouTube. Finally, Aaron gave it a good old dry with an airline. Again, removing any swarf that was stuck in any of the ports. The block and the head, don't they look different? Absolutely amazing. What a brilliant morning. So yeah, the guys here at MJAs have been superb, showing me all the process and stuff. Um, one or two slightly camera shy, so uh, I'll probably talk over it as I get home and, and start editing this. So the block looks fantastic, um, really good. Gonna give a bit of a respray now. Um, so again, keep it looking good, corrosion, avoidan avoidance and all that. And the head, um, so, so, so pleased. Thanks so much there, Aaron, for, um, for, for skimming the head there. Um, done a fantastic job and uh, I without a doubt be back here so if you ever need any work done MJA's it's people you need to speak to if you're around Bromsgrove area um, and thank you Martin and Jane for the hospitality really do appreciate it so yeah one nice clean block home the mounts back into the stand uh, next step is painting it I'm um, not going to show you the whole process because uh, we're just painting and we've got a whole video about painting other things. So let's get this thing prepped. So that took longer than I thought. Even when you change the t-shirt, always another day. Um, right, masked it all off, top, bottom, all the screw holes and everything like that. That was an absolute mission. Um, quick tip. If anyone's doing this, once you actually master it, grab yourself a blade, razor blade. And if you just run it along the edge, you get nice clean lines, um, hopefully anyway. So as previously said in a lot of the, uh, in the last uh, painting episode, link, um, it's all about prep. So this has taken ages. Hopefully that means we get a good result. Right, and paint. Here we go. One fully painted block. Matte black, like I said. It's gonna be quite fun taking these off. Quite therapeutic, I expect, but it's still uh, slightly damp, so don't wanna be touching it right now. There we go. And whilst I was here with some spare paint, Thought, why not just uh, 
Start painting this. Wow! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's so shiny! Absolutely perfect. Pucker. Perfect, Victoria. Excellent. What do you think of the block? The block actually looks so much nicer now it's painted. This one here. I've been very tempted to peel off. Um, so, do you want to peel that off? I'm going to do the honours. Go on in. You can do the honours. Go on in. Why is it so... No, 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 no. That last part is like that. Is that any, right? Yeah. Any eagle-eyed people out there earlier may have noticed I actually originally taped off all the way to the top. Um, and then I was looking at uh, the actual piece which goes on here. Let me just show you. This piece here, and um, it would have absolutely bugged me that when basically you put this on, just drop some of these bolts so I don't scratch it up because I don't really want to scratch it up. Now, this, when you actually put it up to here, you would have had a piece at the top here which is just plain metal. Thank you so much guys for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we're at 499 subscribers. So, you're on. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. It's absolutely free. And why not drop us a comment um, saying I number 500. Bye. Bye. When you think you're on a winner, everything's going your way. Um, you find a crack in the turbo and that's a whole nother video itself.